What's up, everybody? My name is Maruma Tu, and you are watching What's Up with the Moon today on Sun Soul Astrology for Tuesday, January the 28th of 2020. Now, today the collective moon is still in the sign of Pisces, but it's getting ready to go into the sign of Aries. And so we're still in that quantum spirit getting ready to birth into the quantum self. Now, we are just on the other side of the conjunction of Neptune and Venus, but the moon is still conjunct for most of today, and it will be joining to touch on to Chiron, who is in the sign of Aries. So the moon is kind of caught in the middle right now, the middle of this peace and harmony, this feminine love and compassion, and also this painful wound of the self. And as the moon transits tomorrow, it's going to jump into that cardinal T-square, and square the north and the south node. So we're preparing to make a major decision on whether we're going to move forward with love and compassion and that feminine aspect that we spoke about yesterday so much with the north node in Cancer, or if we're going to stay very rigid and cold and disconnected with the square to the south node in Capricorn. But no matter what, we're able to bring a lot of our mastery to the now moment and really understand that everything that's happened to us has been a process. It's been a process of us evolving and growing and expanding. Now, the moon is also going to be in a semi-square to the sun today, which is definitely one of those more annoying aspects to have going on. As I've talked about it before, it's, it's not the aspect that you could really put your finger on, like something's in your face and bothering you. It's that underlying tone of just irritability. And in this case, it's about our self-identity. A lot of things about our self-identity have been feeling a little off and a little askew over the last week and a half because of the squares of Neptune and Mars, while Venus has been involved in that. So our relationships have been a little shaky or they've been really, really amazing. And our self-image has either been also really amazing or also really quite shaky. So we're in this uh, dualistic kind of polarized time and it makes a lot of sense because that's what the last lunar eclipse in uh, cancer was talking about right this polarization and always have to really look at like who is the self and what are we doing you know where are we going and who are we going with so this is going to be one of those days that has a lot of reflection there's going to be a sextile to Saturn and Pluto, which is saying, I'm going to take emotional responsibility for where I'm at in my life right now. And I'm going to realize that it's for a higher process, right? I'm going to go ahead and take responsibility for my own transformation. I'm going to take back the consent that I've given to people, places, and things to have power over me that are causing me to feel very um, insecure, right? I'm going to take my power back. I'm going to bring back my security. I'm going to bring back my self-assurity. And I'm going to invest and engage and nurture and grow this positive harm, harmonic relationship within myself. And that's going to create that within the others, right? Working on stable relationships with everything in our lives, a stable relationship with the, the food that we eat and the nutrition we give our bodies, the workout regimen that we're involved in, the relationship spectrum, the career, the family, everything. It needs to really nourish us and grow us right now because in order to make this decision that we're coming up on tomorrow, we're going to need to really have a clear vision. You know, and a clear vision is, is, is just not allowing ourselves to be clouded by illusions and delusions, which, yes, is very possible. And it, it may just seem like, am I really understanding things the way that they are? Or am I making all this up? And you know, you know, that's the thing. You know, whenever you're bullshitting yourself or someone's bullshitting you, and you know, whenever uh, you're really receiving a truth. Okay, and so with all the intuition that is available to us, all the psychic perceptions that are still continuing on, make sure that you're trusting your gut and make sure that you're not playing games with yourself, okay? 
So let me make sure there is nothing else that I wanted to mention about today. Nope. So make sure you go over to sunsoul.tv one more time and become a monthly member or rent for 24 hours for just $2. Also, you could go over to sunsoul.tv or sunsoulastrology.com and book a personal reading with me. I have two new readings. One is new moon, full moon eclipses for natal progressed or both charts. And the other is a star seed DNA PDF that can be booked outside of a reading with me. All right. So I will see you tomorrow. I'm wishing you the best day ever. God bless. Pray to me. Absorb my life. Let me illuminate you. Close your eyes. Can you hear my voice? Whisper.